hello 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 welcome back it's your girl magic mermaid and we're about to get into aquarius 2024 tarot scope reading for all my aquarius placement sun moon rising venus mercury and mars okay we just gonna throw everything in a bag at this point okay everything is pre-shuffled so i'm just gonna get to pulling the cards out and we're gonna get right into it this is your october reading so let's can go okay Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles, beautiful. We have the Moon card, okay. We have the Six of Swords, okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles, okay. We have the Two of Cups. Really nice. Okay, so let me shuffle one time. We're going to get the clarifiers. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. I'm like, hey, what's up, hello? All right, clarifier for the Knight of Pentacles says King of Cups. Yes, indeed. We love to see it. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords clarified by the Moon card. Okay. Then we have the Temperance card, clarifying the Six of Swords. And we have the Queen of Wands, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. We have the World card, clarifying the Six of Pentacles. And we have the Two of Wands, clarifying the Two of Cups. Let's get these finals. We have True Love. Come to me. I already knew what was going on. Organization and safe home exactly yes lord okay we have awakening we have the crumbling okay it's getting really hectic transformation beautiful energy aquarius um looking like a very blessed month okay so first off we have the knight of pentacles and it's clarified by the king of cups so the knight of pentacles is usually about long-term commitment so this could be relationships your job your friend group this could be um your family okay and it's clarified by the king of cups which for me is my husband card my that's my my man, my man, my man. That's that's that card. But also it represents Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, man, okay? So this could just be representing um you deciding if if you're a masculine, you could be deciding your long-term path of like who you're going to be with, okay? Um and then of who you're going to be with, okay? I'm sorry, I was having like a quick brain fart. But of who you want to be with, um, but if you're a feminine, then this could be talking about the man that you are interested in for the long term. So this could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces man, or because we have the Knight of Pentacles here, this could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn man, okay? Um, but this is just talking about long-term commitments and having that um, emotional intelligence to understand and know what place and position that you need to be in so coming into the month of october you're really getting into position you're saying look this is what i want to commit to for the long term and you feel very grounded in your energy and your emotions and in your approach in that matter aquarius okay so then we have the moon card which is clarified by the nine of swords so the moon a lot of the time is going to represent hidden matters things that are hidden from us it's also going to represent our fears, our fears that come up to the surface, you know, related to our, our traumas and stuff, you know, fear of abandonment. Maybe it's, um, you know, it's all kinds of things. That's just one example. Um, but it's, it's talking about, and nine of swords is really a, a card about, sometimes it can be depression. Sometimes it can be an anxiety, but it's, it's, it's like a high level of attachment to, like wanting to know what the future holds and it's like you really don't know so you like keep on thinking about it and it's like thinking about everything that could go wrong and you know that's the moon card because that is our subconscious fears you know when we fear things we're just fearing what could go wrong we don't know it's the unknown you know 
So our first thought is always, you know, once until we reprogram ourselves, our first thought is going to be what could go wrong when really we need to start reprogramming ourselves to really think like, what about everything that could go right? Okay. So um, it's talking about things that are hidden. So maybe you're thinking about what if, what if something just comes in and shocks me and, and da, 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 da. This also, Aquarius, could be something that you are hiding. You're hiding something and it's because you're not ready to make the information be known quite yet. So you're just really, really, really maybe um, having anxiety about like, oh, well, what's going to happen when I reveal this and things like that, um, that this is my long term commitment. OK, so I think that's a little bit of the energy maybe it's you just really showing the world you know being authentic and saying look i don't care who likes it or who don't like it this is what i have going on and so i think a little bit of that is getting to you in the beginning of october um but then we have the six of swords which is clarified by the temperance card so six of swords is all about change and transition um it's really about the transition that you make after a lot of difficult changes and challenges it's about choosing to move forward out of whatever energy you were previously in that was not serving you so clarified by the temperance card which is about balance moderation patience um and being well tempered okay it's about being patient while you allow things to unfold you're transitioning forward it also represents healing okay so it's about like healing that you do inner and then it reflects to the outer which represents you know the duality of it all um if you take a look they're like meditating in between two wolves there's a black wolf and a white wolf you know um symbolizing the yin and the yang energy and then as they're meditating, there are these chakras and then there's this spark of light, which could represent the enlightenment that you reach. So it seems that whatever confusion you were having, Aquarius, you're moving forward from that. You're moving through those energies. You're being brave. You're being courageous. You're saying, I don't know where I'm going, but I just know that I got to go forward. And because you're doing that, because you're eliminating your fear, you are working through those subconscious blockages, those subconscious fears, those sub, those traumas, those patterns, those belief systems. You're working through all of that. And so it's bringing you a sense of bliss, a sense of healing. You're, you're really healing your inner self. You're healing your external self as well. It's about you're, you're moving on. You're saying, I'm not going to continue to be this unhealed version of myself. I'm done with that. It's that's over. That's done. Um, I'm done with being confused. I don't like not having clarity. I don't like having to hide my authentic self. I don't like not being true to myself because I don't want people to, I don't want to feel threatened. I don't want people to attack me. So you're really healing. And I think that you're getting closer in relationship with God, with your higher self, with the universe, whoever, whatever may be um, that essence the spirit of god you are really starting to call that into your spirit because you're saying i'm tired of having fear that things won't work out for me because i know that when i when you join into covenant with god then you are eternally protected and that's just facts okay so we move forward we move forward we have the queen of pentacles and it's clarified by the queen of wands okay so queen of pentacles energy is very much virgo capricorn taurus once again um but she is the queen of the home she's the stay at home wife plus entrepreneur plus mother plus 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 okay she's a bad she's a bad yeah and it's clarified by the queen of wands so this is all about taking action um and also the queen of wands she's a she's an entrepreneur okay she's an entrepreneur so this is about mastery of the home and mastery of your business okay so you might be really feeling um super locked in in your home and you're like everything is organized everything is coming together how it needs to come together um i feel like you're taking a lot of action aquarius you're making things happen you're putting the groundwork down and you're you're just moving things how they need to be moved and it's beautiful it's a beautiful energy if you are a masculine this could be a woman in your life 
and she's coming into your space she's coming into your home she's helping you get organized she's saying oh she's doing some accounting she's saying hey this is what we need to do this is what we need to look at we have this 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 and this okay what do we need what do we need to reach for okay what do we what can we let go of okay she's coming in she's taking action so this could be a woman who is a businesswoman but she's also um like she could be domesticated too uh -huh. but she's about her coin okay so it's like it's when business and matters of the home meet and they just blend together so perfectly so harmoniously okay we have the six of pentacles clarified by the world Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. baby i love this i need to calm down <laughs> six of pentacles clarified by the world the world is all about completion graduation achievement things coming full circle endings before a, a brand new beginning okay um it can also represent travel and then we have the six of pentacles which is talking about equal give and take um charity like being giving and things like that this is like the card for like providers providers they're gonna get the six of pentacles providers they get six of pentacles cards okay so it's talking about reaching a new level of achievement and just like overflowing with generosity this is a card of generosity it's completion so aquarius toward the end of the month everything you're just feeling very generous um, I feel like you feel very abundant in all aspects of life. And so you're just receiving all of this abundance. You're receiving all of these blessings. You're receiving all of this prosperity. And because you're receiving that, you're also, and it's actually the other way around. It's actually that that's the energy that you are putting out, Aquarius. And so it is coming right back to you, okay? So um also if you are masculine this woman coming in and helping you get your affairs into state i feel like it really opens up the connection it really opens up the situation to where it's like oh my gosh i want to i want to give this girl i want to give this woman everything you know look what she just came in here and did at the, at the drop of a hat you know so it's that type of energy feeling completion feeling like you're graduating you're going so you're taking things to the next level okay um you're powered up okay we have the two of cups clarified by the two of wands so this is about coming to that well previously maybe um aquarius you had come to a fork in the road and said hey okay i need to choose a path to either be in a relationship or not be in a relationship like i need to be devoted i need to be committed because you know until you're devoted and committed through your covenant with god everything's just going to be chaotic and nothing's really going to go in the manner or the way that you really 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 would love it to go than if you were obedient and if you were in alignment and so this is about you choosing like i'm choosing i'm i'm choosing obedience i'm choosing alignment and because you choose obedience because you choose alignment this brings very loving energy into your experience in the month of october just like connecting on deeper intimate more intimate levels it's cups so this is the emotions like ooh, ooh, splash into me babies <laughs> what but yes yeah, so it's the start of a new love of new love relationship this could have been someone that you were already acquainted with it's just the relationship is now deepening and becoming more beautiful and becoming more stable and becoming more devoted and becoming more committed and it's just beautiful okay so like i said we have true love come to me which says true love shall come to me as i do will so motor be so it's like you you actually want this aquarius you want the love you want to be in union you want to um alchemize together you want to blend the energies and become one and become gold okay so it's like that is actually happening for you in the month of october then we have organization just like we said so 
yes aquarius women you are really like getting organized this month you're helping other people organize their things you are just really feeling the energy you're in your vibe you're in your bag and you're like you're not worried about anything besides all this that you have to offer because you have a lot to offer as far as getting things prepared helping people see their true potential being a support system that is very valuable that is very loved and that provides a nurturing experience to everyone around them to where everyone is just like wow this person is very valuable um and i want to just shower this person with um reciprocity i want to shower this person with gratitude um and that's the energy you're receiving in the month of october love that for you safe home i cast this circle roundabout safety now is beyond doubt okay so it's talking about you have found your safe home energy aquarius in the month of october so probably whatever this situation is whatever's going on in your home front whatever's going on at your home however you're organizing your home whoever you're nurturing and caring for this month in october this is your safe home this is your safe space this is where you're meant to be and it's not even just a location it's an energy the energy that you're in this is the energy that you are meant to hold okay to have and to hold until death do us part not until death do us part okay <laughs> okay we have awakening energetic upgrades a new way of being integration so there's a lot of changes occurring within you aquarius you've never been this person before you've never been like this before everything is changing and it, it has a lot to do with that covenant with god i do feel like you are developing a relationship with god i do feel like you are tapping into your higher self i do feel like you're communicating with your ancestors and your spirit gods i do feel like you're reaching out to the ascended masters when you need help i do feel like all of those things are happening and those are all things that you've never done before and because of that you're being upgraded you're having energetic upgrades okay you're integrating this new way of being that you're also going to mirror out to other people and influence other people where other people want to do what you're doing i want to be like aquarius aquarius is not even that type of person and aquarius is doing all of this i never seen aquarius do this how could Aquarius just switch it up like that? How could Aquarius just change like that? That is so crazy. I want to be able to do that. Am I capable of doing that? If Aquarius can do it, well, Aquarius can do a lot of things. Can I do what Aquarius does? I don't know, but I'm going to try. That's what it's giving. Give you your tens. Give you your tens. Give you your tens. Ten takeaway two. Yeah, she ate. Okay? Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So you are really healing a lot of things, Aquarius. Like whatever dark energies you were feeling inside of that chest, baby, is coming on up. We getting that gunk out. We getting that gunk out. And as I'm doing this, I'm pulling it out with the Reiki. We're going to pull it out with the Reiki. We're going to pull out that dark energy with the Reiki. Any sludge, any gunk, any gooeyness, anything anything that's covering the heart we're gonna pull it out we're gonna pull it out we're gonna pull it out okay so um receive that reiki um things are changing at a cellular level which means that you will never be the same ever again after this aquarius after the month of october you will never be the same because that's how deeply this shift is happening for you at a cellular level okay then we have the crumbling which says, what are you clinging on to? Which is talking about, so look at this. Don't you know, you know what I always think about? Because I'm a big kid and I have two kids. But on Finding Nemo, when they were trying to get to the um, East Australian Currents, right? And then it was like the grouper fish or whatever. And they were like, when you get to the big, uh, like whatever it is, what did they say? They said, swim through it. Don't go over it, okay? But Dory forgot. So then when they got to it, Marla was like, oh, no, we not going in there. We not going up in there. We finna swim over it. Then when they swam over it, they seen it was like um, 
what's the word it was uh jelly it was jellyfish everywhere okay it was just covered in it was in, infested that's the word it was infested with je jellyfish so then that was like oh man so you know they raced through there or whatever and they came out they passed out whatever they still made it but had they listened look at this card though can we get a um yes okay the crumbling okay you see what happens like it looks scary but you didn't know until you open the doors that it's actually very beautiful in there it's very beautiful in there. And then there's like this thunder, which will represent air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, okay? And then it's like, this is that universal God energy coming in like a portal. So this will be like that inner, that inner self, you know, that you are afraid to go in there and look at the stuff from the past and sort through it and sift through and say, hmm, well, this is why this is like this. Well, this is why this is like this. And this is, and then you go back and you give yourself love and you give yourself grace and you forgive yourself and you forgive others. Forgiving others does not mean that you have to let them back in your life or anything like that. But also it's about not being afraid, not having that fear of going in and really like diving deep into yourself. And you find all the beauty and all the bliss that is inside of you, Aquarius. You find your true authentic self. You find who you truly are without all of those defense mechanisms, without all of that pain, the trauma, the hurt. You see who you really are. And what happens, you start to be your real self in the month of October because you're saying that stuff doesn't serve me. I'm letting it go. I don't need to carry that with me. I'm letting it go, okay? that's your final card aquarius i really hope that this was a great reading i think that it was awesome please let me know what you guys think down in the comments make sure you follow me on instagram at magic mermaid make sure you follow me on tiktok at magic mermaid 25 i'm magic mermaid on youtube magic mermaid on facebook you know what's going 